Example two, for each of the following, you're gonna sketch the graph, state domain and range, determine intercepts, and write it as a piecewise function. So again, you wanna use a pencil because we're gonna graph inside the brackets first. So first we're gonna sketch without the brackets, just y equals two, x minus three squared minus two. But that's not my final answer, so I'm gonna have to do some erasing. So make sure you draw this in pencil, and then you can switch to pen later on for your final answer. So graphing this, remember the vertex is three and negative two. Not that you have to write that down, but we'll visualize three and negative two. So there's my vertex. Now this parabola opens up because it's a positive two. The width is two, which means there's a vertical stretch by a factor of two. So instead of go over, going over normally, normally we go over one, up one, we're gonna go twice as far, over one, up two, over one, up two. Over two, two squared is four. We normally go up four, but now we're going up twice as four, far. So we're gonna go up uh, to eight. So that puts us at the six. Over two, up eight. So this is my parabola right here. Okay, now let's apply the absolute value brackets. So that means anything below the x-axis is going to um, flip above. So my vertex now um, is not three and negative two, but this is gonna switch to positive two on the y. And then make sure it's not a V shape, it's still that U shape, so you're gonna draw like an upside down U. And now we're going to erase this again. You might wanna erase it lightly so you can still see in your notes what you have done when you look back. Okay, so here's my answer. I'll maybe just darken this. This didn't change. So then you've got the bump here and this. Okay, so the arrows did not change. Okay, domain and range. The domain, it still goes left forever, right forever is just XC reels. Your range is everything greater than zero. So we'll squeeze this in here. Y is greater than zero with all real numbers, greater than zero. Um, intercepts, the X intercept we can just see them here is two and four. Otherwise you could set the equation to zero here and solve, but we don't need to do that here. We can see that X equals two and four. The Y intercept, it does, I mean, I could extend my graph, but I'm out of room. So algebraically, I want you to find your Y intercept. And again, it's important to remember when you find your Y intercept, you must include the um, absolute value brackets in your work. So you're gonna put zero in for X. Remember we let X equal zero when we um, find the y-intercept. So zero minus three, so negative three squared minus two. So two times nine minus two, y equals the absolute value of 18 minus two, which equals the absolute value of 16. So when we take the absolute value out, it still remains positive 16. That would make sense over here that my graph would extend up to a positive number. Let's look at the piecewise function. For the piecewise function, you're gonna open up your brackets. You always start with the original um, graph that was in the equation. So we're gonna write down our equation there, and we're gonna say if, what part of that graph? So remember we first graphed this parabola opened up, it had gone below the x-axis, but the part of the graph that didn't change was the left side with the arrowheads and the right side. Now I just call it wings and the bump. So it's the left wing and the right wing. So the part of the graph that didn't change was everything less than two and everything greater than four. Between two and four, it changed. So we're gonna write everything less than two. So we say if X is less than or equal to two, or on the right-hand side or the right wing, everything is greater than or equal to four. Your equal to signs will always go with the um, original graph because your x-intercepts don't change. They're invariant points. Now you're going to bring a negative sign through this. So I'll just write underneath. If you were to multiply a negative sign through, if you need to see that work, negative sign, this is one term, becomes negative two. x minus three squared, that does not change, but when you're bringing it through here, it becomes positive two. So this makes sense because this would be a, a negative parabola would have open down. So this would be that bump in the middle and the vertex would be positive three, positive two. So you can see how that's what this graph is. So you're graphing this equation 
I'm just going to put a line here. That's not actually part of my answer. That's just showing where this this came from, if you need to show the work, so how the signs change. So my vertex now is three and two, like this would show. When does it happen? Between two and four. So you're going to write the domain of two and four. So that means it's greater than two, but at the same time less than four. So we say two is less than x is less than four. So x is greater than two, but at the same time less than four. So that is your piecewise function.